My name is Dr Max Dias. I'm a VMO urologist at the Sydney Adventist Hospital. Kidney stones uh, are a very common condition. It affects one in ten people in their lifetime. Um, it is also a very painful condition, uh, classically. Kidney stones are concretions of various uh, substances um, that are uh, formed uh, in the kidney and pass down a tube called the ureter, uh, which uh, transports urine from the kidney to the bladder. When they um, uh, go into the ureter, they can cause significant symptoms, uh, particularly pain and sometimes bleeding and occasionally infection. Uh, the main cause of kidney stones is from the lack of oral fluid intake. Um, people who particularly have outside uh, jobs, who spend a lot of time in the sun and are dehydrated, are more prone to forming kidney stones. And, uh, and it is especially important for them to increase their fluid intake. There is some genetic component uh, with kidney stones. It tends to run in families. Um, and anyone who has a father or a sibling with uh, kidney stones should be very, very cautious about their fluid intake because um, at any point they may develop kidney stones. Uh, kidney stones um, are treated uh, in a number of different ways. Uh, when you have an acute attack of kidney stones, you may require uh, a stent to unblock the kidney. Uh, you may require a ureteroscopy, which is a telescope uh, through the ureter to uh, disintegrate the stones. And we usually use, do this by using laser energy. Uh, sometimes with larger stones that are up in the kidney, we can use a flexible telescope uh, to uh, go into the kidney and uh, laser the stones there before they cause a problem. Other treatment options for larger kidney stones include percutaneous nephrolithotomy, which is basically making a small incision in the back uh, and entering the kidney uh, through the back to tr treat stones that uh, are present inside uh, the um, kidney collecting system. Um, the third treatment for uh, kidney stones is extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy, which is using a uh, sound waves to break up the stones from the outside. Some people prefer this uh, because it, it is minimally invasive. The main um, problem with kidney stones is recurrence. Uh, recurrence uh, can occur in 50% of people uh, at five years after their first attack. Um, so it's very important to address the causes of uh, kidney stones. About 5% of kidney stones are made up of uric acid. These stones can be dissolved. Uh, medications can do this. Um, and also patients with uh, uric acid stones can have uh, stones prevented by taking medications over the long term.